Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, the California Beekeeper. I'm Jose. We have Maximus over here. He's geared up, ready to rock and roll. You ready? Check on your girls. And we are down sweet all bees at Salad and Pauline. Gonna give these girls some syrup and pollen uh, one last time before they go into the orchards. Giving them that push, once they get that bloom action, then uh, it, they're really gonna roll, man. So we're looking forward to that, and uh, yeah, well, let's get to work, guys. And we got Kelly here. She, Kelly's over there, she's getting ready, suited up. So let's start working, yeah. What are you opening up, Max? A little box. Our friends John and Aaron from Pierco sent over some goodies to us and we're finally opening up this box and uh, we know what it is, but we're gonna hey, okay, have okay, Max okay. open it up. What do you have there, Max? What, what is that? Box. Another box? And we are new gloves. Oh, he's... John and Aaron sent you some little gloves. And then, we'll like, see if these work. We'll have to. Uh, and my own brush. And your own brush. Ex Excellent. All right. And some stickers. See, sent you some stickers, Max. Yeah. That's cool. And, and what? Then, no way. And the same haircut? What? Now you have two of them. Then you saw it there when now I might have two, four, and ten each to a bit though. Might didn't get this one to her, and might didn't have this one. Awesome. This is for your birthday. Let's see. Let's, let's see. find out. No way. Are you serious? Look at that. They put in there, honey. That's cool, huh? Right on. Thanks a lot, John and Aaron. Yeah. I was talking to Bierko at the California State Beekeeping Conference, and I met one of our buddies down in Riverdale, uh, Zerati Honeybees. His son is also a little beekeeper, just like Max. A little older, but um, he had one of these little smokers right here, you guys. So if you have a little kid, I mean, Look at this thing. Look at that. As big as my my palm there, my hand. That is very cool. Max is gonna have a hoot. Go check out Pierco. They have some really cool stuff, some you know, bee gloves. These are still a little big for Max, but this is awesome, man. Uh, as he's, he's, cause he's growing, so awesome. And he loves his bee brushes. Look at that, Max. Now you can comb dad's hair. Now that's for bees. No, that's for busy bees. <laughs> busy bees. That's a cool one, huh? But this is the coolest. Yeah. Let's light it up, huh, Matt? Let's fire this baby up. We are going to gear up to get these girls um, situated and um, they're going into the almonds and in the almonds there is absolutely no bloom going on. So we've already given pollen sub in the winter. They've eaten that up and now before they go into the trees we want to give them the last round of pollen to crank them and really get them going before that bloom starts and really ramp them up. So. Got to get these girls ready for splits, bulk bees. Uh, queen production season is around the corner, so it's pretty important that these girls get really, really stimulated for all of that for queen production. So pollen and feed. You know, guys, when I'm lighting my smoker, 
sometimes I uh, will <laughs> go a little too fast, but you really want to get that first piece of burlap or if you're using pine needles, some guys like to use pine needles, whatever it is that you're using for your lighter fluid, uh, it's really important to get it really rolling. Like I'm telling Max, he needs to keep his puffing. That way um, you could just add after that. Uh, that first piece is pretty important. You don't want to uh, suffocate your smoker. So I like to pack it in just lightly. And then I'll just keep adding. It's so dark, dirty in there Ooh. now. That's a bunny. Like I said, you really want to get this thing rolling. It's tried lighting it a couple times. Is that better, Max? Look at that. Choo choo! Light. It's like a cloud. It starts smoking it. That's a bunny. That's nice. This. Dad, didn't he help me? Let's go over here. Giant steak. Giant steak? Yeah. So we'll put one, put one here, here. It's gonna be here. Oh, there and there. That way we could open these up and slap in the pollen patties, okay? Daddy, go into my smoker. Go get it. My okay, yeah. we have to crack it from the middle right here. Go ahead and put your hive tool right there in the corner. Crack it. Good. Okay. Go ahead and stick the pollen patty in. Okay. Yeah. No, you're right. Sorry. Go put some smoke on them. There you go. Push those girls down. Oh, sorry, no smokies. All right. Patty. Patty. That's a big piece right there. That's a good one. <laughs> yeah, right there. Open. Look at that. That's a good spot. Give them some smoke so we don't squish any of the girls. There we go. We want to make sure that they're pushed down all the way. You want to help me put it down? Okay, and go ahead and push it down that way. All right. Next. Move this to the side, give want, ourselves some room. Want, put, put it right here for now. And let's yeah. see what these girls are doing really quick. And then hold one of these down. The frames? Yeah. Absolutely. Let me, let's dig in here really good. And uh, see what these girls are doing. It's like let's fun. see. Oh yeah, look at that. She is laying like crazy. Yeah, that's... A, all right, Max, let's, yeah. let's uh, get in here, see what else is going on. Can you get me my nose? Yeah, look at, see that? That's eggs. See that right there, Max? Look at that. Right there. Those little white things. Yeah. Those little eggs there. Don't smush it. Oh, yeah, she is. She's going to town. Oh yeah, we're getting, we're getting there. Have some good hatch out. I'm gonna put this one down. You wanna hold it? And I want, I want my own. You want your own, huh? Hey daddy, put that back up. Put this one back up, dad. I'm yeah. Sorry, sorry. I didn't see some, some, no, put it this way. I can see some, eight, some, some honey in there. Oh yeah? Yeah. 
I'm in there, I'm making honey yeah. today. I'll tell you when I find the queen. Oh, you're gonna look for the queen? I'll tell you, help me find it. Okay, sure, let me. Can you hold it for me? Okay. Uh, you looking for the queen? Yeah. Okay. Um, let me know when you want me to turn it around. I'll turn this frame around. I made a lot of eggs, dude. Yeah, make sure that you see the little dots, the little rice in the hook, in the comb. That means she's laying it up. I saw one. Hey, guys! He looks, he has... We'll go ahead and put it up so we got a lot of work to do. I, I saw some. So, here's a, here's a little cool thing if you guys are new to beekeeping. Whenever you see something like this, bees, their priority is either eat or sealed brood. They'll leave that stuff. If it gets chilled, they'll leave it. If like this frame was just sitting out, they really won't even go with that, with the eggs and the larvae. But that's all larvae right there. You can see that little half moon. Right there too, all that is all laid out. But they they won't really tend to it. They just rather go eat and uh, more attracted to the sealed brood. Yeah, she is going to town. And we always like to put things back like they were. And uh, grab that side, Max. Put your hive tool right there. And then go like this. Look. Look at Daddy. Whoop. Close it up. It looks like a giant steak. Like a giant steak. Where do you want me to put it? Right here. Right in the middle. So the girls can eat it. But the girls are going to start. Oh. What do you think we should do? Uh, let's wait for some of the girls to move. To move or should we use our new smoker? Honest. Yeah. So nice no girls. How do you put a patty? Alright, good deal. Let's close it up. The bee suit's too big, so just tied it on the bottom. Had it on the hands. <clears throat> Protection. There's not too much activity over here, so she shouldn't even have any bees really on her at all. She'll just sit down and hang out. Girl. Here, don't forget. <laughs> this is your hive tool, girl. Max gave you one of them. This is Max's old uh, pocket hive tool. So he got a new one from Pureco. So now Kennedy has one. And that one's pretty dull. Oh, so shouldn't. Really be an issue. So we're just cutting one pound patties of Nutri B. And it slices really easily. We're just using machete. You just put a little pressure on each side of the machete and then we're slicing it in half. So depending on the time of the year, we'll determine, well, there's a lot of different factors that determines the size, but today we're just doing the one pound. So there's six and we're probably gonna cut a few more and if you stack them on top of each other this one's really soft so it can stick together so that's why we're separating them patties are ready this one did a little bee that wants to be on me here's yeah. a patty <laughs> boom all right Get your smoker. Daddy. We have to crack this hive. Max already have this, got this one prepped up. Okay, come on, Max. Ready? Go ahead and slap it in. Yeah, right there. Right in the middle. Perfect. Time to go on the wax. Yeah. And close it up. 
So here we're, we're gonna give a. Oh, that's good enough, Max. You're gonna burn them. Yeah, sorry. It's okay. So from time to time, I'll I'll check out some hives, um, crack them open, and kind of see what's going on inside of the hive. See if she's laying good. If uh, if she's already. Usually they start rolling with uh, laying. There is some times where they'll be populated, but queenless. So this one's queenless. So we might have to. Um, we'll just mark it on top with a little crayon. Uh, and then first round of queens we'll drop animated queen and really get it ramped up but for now we just have to mark it the first the first signs of it, it being queenless and the reason why i checked it and i knew i wanted to check it out was i have been working hives for so long that they have a sound they do this sound like they're just buzzing they're stirred up uh, well that sound is typically it's a queenless sound um, it's very unique and once you identify that sound distinguish angry bees and queenless uh, bees you could just really tell but this one it's a uh, once you crack it they create this bzzz. they don't have any pheromone so that fanning is there just trying to circulate that air to identify and find that pheromone now that I've opened it and I uh, Heard that sound. That sound of it being the queenless. After further inspection, I'll look to see if there's any eggs. If there's no eggs, that's the number one thing that I'm looking for. I'm not looking for a queen. I'm not looking for larvae. I'm just looking for eggs. If there's eggs, that means there is likely a queen in there somewhere. Um, and we'll just mark it to inspect it a little further here. But something like this will not go into pollination. Uh, we'll set it back. And if we get some overwintered queens from some of our buddies that do produce, uh, then we'll plop in some uh, overwintered queens and try to salvage what we have here because it's, pre it's, it's populated. There's some bees in here. There's maybe about seven to eight frames of bees. So we want to be able to do that. Uh, there you go. And they start to get rowdy, very aggressive sometimes when they are queenless. You can hear them buzz buzzing. So. Just give them smoke. Calm things down. And we'll close it up. It is pointless to give these uh, pollen right now. Uh, there's not going to be any stimulation going on by putting a pollen patty in on a queenless hive. Uh, the bees will get some nutrients, but there's no queen, no lane. So nothing to be fed as far as larvae. All right guys, that is it for this video. Hope you enjoyed uh it's getting dark so once the sun starts getting down and temperatures drop we don't like to work the bees any further and stress them out even more um so hope you enjoyed this video max you want to say bye to everybody bye bye guys we have mama we'll out here Kennedy, Kennedy. Girl. make sure you go smash that subscribe button guys and give us a big thumbs up on this video we'll see you on the next one guys